in this project, I have compared the machine learning, the traditional machine learning algorithm with the Bayesian inferences. So let me start. First, I have these libraries, then this is the some helping functions, training test split, validation matrices. And then I have used the pipeline approach to choose the best uh, to run all the machine learning algorithms. And then I have used the grid search method to tune the hyperparameters. About the machine learning algorithm, I have used these 13 different machine learning algorithm which is linear regression, ridge regression, base ridge regression, random forest and decision tree and uh, support vector regression, gradient boosting, XG boosting, type GBM and ADA boost regression. I have used these 13 different regression. These are, this is the functions. These are the model building functions. And, uh, and regarding the Bayesian regression function, I have used these seven different uh, Bayesian regression method, which is not Hamiltonian, Metropolis, Sky, Sequential MC. And these are the functions of uh, these regressions. I have applied uh, these machine learning algorithms and the Bayesian algorithm and the two different data sets. The first data set is about the house pricing, which have about 20,000 rows and nine columns, of which seven are the features and one is the dependent variable. The second data set is also about the housing pricing, but in this one, I have almost 3,000 rows and 81 features. So first, for the first data set, uh, this is just the missing value plots, numerical column. This is the correlation of the different features like average room number, house, house age, population, average occupied area. This is the correlation of these uh, attributes with the prices. This is the distribution. At the five price level, I have a very big spike, but for the remaining, it is almost normally distributed. This is just a scatter plot, different scatter plots with the pricing and these different things. This is just the plots of the data. Then I have applied the t-test to see whether the mean value of different covariates are, in, uh, are same or not. Then I have applied the normality test for each variable, whether the variable are normally distributed or not. The result shows that the variable are not normally distributed. This is the chi-square test to see whether the variables are correlated with each other or not. And at the last, I have applied the machine learning algorithm with the defined model parameter. And for that one, for the training data set, the R square goes for the linear integration, it is about 0.6. And it goes for decision tree, it is almost one. For random forest, it is 0.97. And um, for the gradient boost and HG boosting, it is about 99%. For the testing data, the performance of linear regression is about 60%, almost identical to a training data. And the random forest 80% and the gradient boosting algorithm have 84%, 81%. So almost on average for the regression problem for the linear range, it is about 60%. And for this ensembling method is about 80% accuracy with the default parameter. Then by tuning the parameters, this uh, is almost same with the previous one, but for some regression, it improves a little bit. For the testing, it is again about 80%. And for the reg linear regression and reg ridge regression, lasso regression is about 60%. To see, to compare it with the Bayesian methods, I have this price is the my dependent variable, and these 
sevens are the independent variable in this one. For these independent variable coefficient, I am assuming the normal distribution with mean zero and this standard deviation of 10. The prior sample is about 1,000. The draws are 5,000. And the tuning is 1,000. And I have run this uh, uh, Bayesian algorithm on the housing pricing data. It takes a lot of time to converge. And the final result shows that uh, for the training data, it have the R square about 60%. For the nuts and Hamiltonian and Metropolis, it is almost same. For the remaining, it is very bad. For the slices, it is also about 60%. And the performance is actually same with the regression model, with the linear regression model, but the results are not as good as we have seen in the case of uh, random forest and decision trees. For the test data, again, the results are same with the linear regression and ridge regression, but not as good as uh, we have for the decision tree and random forest and gradient boosting regression. Then for this one here, I have the, these are just the posterior plots of different algorithms. And regarding the second data set, in this one, I have about 3,000 rows and 81 columns. There are 79 features in this one. And these are just the plot correlation to handle the missing values, the distribution of the price, the sale price. These are the graphs of the scatter plots in these things. This is just a box plot, numerical column features and these different things. Running the linear regression model with the default parameters, I have the R square for the random forest, it is 92%, for decision tree, it is 99%, for live GDM, it is 83%, data boost is again 99%. But for the testing data, the accuracy is almost 44%. For the last, it is 44 For the linear, for the gradient boost, it is about 36 to 37%. But with the hyperparameter tuning, this performance improves a little bit. But on average, for the regression model, I have the R square about 40 to 45%. And uh, the Bayesian result shows that it is also identical. The R square is 45% for the training data and test data. And the result is almost equal to the linear regression and ridge regression in this case. Overall, I conclude that uh, in case of default parameter setup, the R square and the RMEC of the machine learning algorithm with the testing data, which is almost about 80 to 85%. And for the Bayesian regression, it is about uh, 60 to 65% accuracy, I got this one. But I think the performance of NUTS and Hamiltonian and Metropolis algorithm, it is identical to the linear regression. Okay, thank you.